Y'all want to see why I record at four in the morning? Yeah. Are you helping me? You are? You say hi to everybody? Eh. Yeah. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Caden. I'm with Middle Class and Millionaire. Today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to walk through a step-by-step -step process of how to open a retirement account or an investment account with M1 Finance. Stay tuned. I had to kind of trick the system because I already have an account. I actually have multiple accounts with M1 Finance and I couldn't start a new account. Uh, you can have multiple accounts or different uh, type of titles like we talk about traditional Roth IRAs but unfortunately you can't create just a new account. Um, I was going to open up one for a friend of mine who's needing an account but I didn't want to show their personal information on here so I went to great links of how to do this. I had to start a new email account so with going to these great links I'd really like it if you could like the video. If you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel for more to come. Let's dive into this. Okay so whenever you get in here you show to the website you can click on my link or my description below if not, you can just go to Google and you just type in M1 Finance. Whenever you come down here, it's going to make you put in your email address and also your password. I'm going to blur this out, of course, because I don't want a lot of junk mail just kind of sent to me. So I'm going to blur that out. But once you, you put in your information, you're going to click sign up now. It's going to ask that you confirm this email address. It's going to ask you want to send it to the email. Yes. So your next page says, welcome to M1 Finance. The first thing you want to do is create a pie. Uh, that's one thing that I really love about M1 Finance because it's visually appealing. You actually get to see all the investments that you have and actually get to see the slice of each of those investments and how they make up your entire portfolio. So not to be cheesy, but how all the slices make up the full pie. And that's what we're looking at. So you hit continue and you can see the pie. The pie is how the building blocks to organize and to manage your M1 portfolio. This is probably the coolest thing that I have seen when creating a retirement account or just an investment portfolio in general. As soon as you start this, it's going to say, let's create your first pie. You have to have at least three investments that interest you. Um, now, of course, whatever you pick here, you're not stuck with. You can change your portfolio or you can change the holdings at any time you want to. So don't stress here. But uh, let's pick some of the big ones, which is actually really cool. So let's look at uh, some of the popular stocks. Of course, you have your Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, and many, many more. You can just search up here if you want to. So let's look at like Tesla. Click on Tesla. Say we want to add them there. And let's look at NVIDIA. And then... Another one of my favorite right here, Realty Income. Say okay. So we got those three added. Another one we want to look at, let's do it like a total stock market. So we have talked about you can do single stocks. Um, that's just ownership in a company. So when you buy stock, you're actually buying a percentage of ownership into the company. You're buying into that company. The other way you can do it is you can do popular funds and then also there are expert pies. Popular funds, of course, these are going to be ETFs. M1 Finance does not allow you to have mutual funds, but they do allow you to have ETFs. ETFs are the exact same thing as a mutual fund. It's just how they are traded and how fees can be applied to it. But they have, they're have they mirroring on how they actually hold their investments and what they do for clients. So let's look at right here. Probably the most popular one on the market is going to be the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. We'll click on that one. So my total picks are four. Now, this is not what I recommend to everybody. Trust me. This is just to get you going to the next step. We're going to hit continue. Your picks are now slices of your pie. So you can see how they break it up. So let's say right now I have 25% going to each one. But let's say, for instance, if I wanted, let's go 50% in the total stock market ETF. It shows that I have a total of 125 out of 100. You can only have 100. It doesn't allow you to have more than the total slice. So we have to reduce everything by a little bit. So let's say we want to Tesla by 15. NVIDIA, let's just do 10 right there. Oh, man, look at there. So I have 50% going into my total stock market. 25% going to Realty Income, which is one of my favorite REITs. Uh, and then 10% going to NVIDIA, and then 15% going into Tesla. So you hit continue here. We're at 100 out of 100. The most that you can have in here, you can have up to 100 individual stocks or individual slices of your pie. You can't have more than 100. You can have 1% in each of them. Let's hit continue. Now look at this, you've created your first pie. $10,000 invested in this pie five years ago would have resulted in your gains of 52,475. That is if you just put 10,000 in here and did nothing else with it. This right here, so this is gonna be probably over a five year period. So we got, let's say one year, two year, 
three year, four year. This right here looks like what happened with uh, the pandemic that hit. So a little bitty valley right here is actually the pandemic. So if you would have stopped or sold out during that, you would have lost all this future potential growth of the money. And so that's why it's always important to invest, invest what you believe in, invest in the long run. Because every day can be ups and valleys in the market, but the grand scheme of things, the long run, the the future projection of your portfolio um, can either be greatly impacted um, or affected by the reactions that you take within your portfolio. So let's continue here. It's actually pretty cool to kind of see that. So it says you'll use your pies like this to create a custom portfolio. So it's really unique to see how M1, it is very intelligent, the automation so that you can invest $25 every week. You can tie it up whenever you get paid. So if you get paid every two weeks, you can do $25 every two weeks or $100 every two weeks um, into your portfolio. And you can set it where it sets and it will auto invest in those companies that you selected. So it takes the guesswork out of it. You do not have to do anything else. You just let the automation part of this portfolio just take effect. And really, like we said, you just set it and forget it. So right here, so after we open the account, so as you can see, we're gonna open up an account, individual taxable account or your brokerage account. This is gonna be the first thing it opens up. So unfortunately, you can't switch this right now to just a Roth IRA. It's gonna make you open up just an individual brokerage account, but we'll show you how to, to create a Roth IRA right after this. All right, so it wants to verify your identity, so you want to put in your phone number. You're going to put in your personal uh, profile information here, so it's just going to be your basic information, so go ahead and fill it out. So it's going to ask your financial investment por uh, profile next. This is just going to be, as we talked about it in one of my prior videos, it's just know your customers. All brokerage accounts have to know their customers. So it's going to ask your approximate annual income, and it's going to ask your total net worth, and it's going to ask your liquid net worth. So what is your liquid net worth? The question here, a lot of people don't understand liquid. Liquid is how quick something could be converted into cash. So this is not just your home. This is not your car or anything like that. This is how fast something can be converted into cash. So it's going to be your check in your savings. Um, some short term top investments can be in here. And what is your investing experience? So if you have no investment experience, don't be afraid. You can put that here. So what is your risk tolerance? I have a high risk tolerance. I don't mind some risk. What is your investment horizon? Um, I'm going to go long term. So we'll say eight or more years. And how important is liquidity to you? So remember, this is how important is the money being able to be converted to cash. Is it very important to you? Is it not so important? It's just up to you. So to me, not important. And then how did you hear about us? You can put a video. You say social media or video. You can say that this is where you learn from if you want to. If not, just and then it's gonna ask your social security number. Yes, you have to put in your social security number. All right, are you affiliate or do you work with a broker dealer? So no, I do not. Do I own 10 share, uh, 10% shares or a director of a public trading company? No, I am or an immediate family member is a current or firm, a former public official. So no, so none of these apply to me. This is most common, but if these apply to you, please make sure that you, you do collect this um, and make sure you're not lying on this because you don't want your accounts to close because of course you, you went around the questions and voila. So right now, so we want to learn is how M1 works. Right here, getting started with M1. So like I mentioned, you can build your portfolio with stocks, ETFs, and other pies. So those other professional pies or pies that they have already established through here. Um, and also let you know the, the future funding and the trading. But if you wanted to, you can individually buy and sell a company. So if you wanna just buy more of Tesla or just buy more of Nvidia, you have the rights and the options to do so um, at any time you want to, which is really neat. And as I mentioned, they have a one-click rebalance. So by just clicking the rebalance, it will sell holdings that are overexposed and buy ones that are underexposed or undervalued. Um, it's really neat to do so, but before you, you sell it, it'll give you a little prompt, make sure that's what you're wanting to do because any sell, any gain that you have in your company, unless it is in a retirement account, you will pay taxes on. Uh, so just make sure you're clear of that. So here we are. So we built our portfolio. In order to invest and buy those ones, you have to add a bank account. So it's very simple to do so. Um, in order to do that, you can just click add bank. Or of course you can go there. You can connect it manually or you can skip it. But by clicking here, so you select your bank. So this has all the major banks on here. So you have Chase, Bank of America, Citi, Wells Fargo, TD, um, uh, TD Bank. Capital One, Charles Schwab, I mean, and the list goes on and on. And then you can just search by your bank. So let's say, for instance, if you are with uh, SunTrust. Boom, SunTrust is on here. There are, oh, Robinhood.com. And many more to go for. So search for here. If your bank does not show up on this list, 
so you do not see yours you can search instead for your your bank if your if your bank does not show up on here just click the sex you're going to go to add bank and you're going to connect manually so you're going to type in the bank's name whether it's a checking or a savings account you're going to put in the routing number and put in the account number and that's it it's going to do two small deposits once it verifies and you have to fully funded your account so you put in that hundred dollars in there by using my link below you're going to get 30 free dollars by doing so but if you don't then you have your hundred dollars in there to start investing so it's that simple okay so once you're in here if you ever want to add an additional account you go up here on the top right it says add account so click on here and this shows the different types of accounts that you can own so we already just in, uh just opened an individual investment account you also have a joint investment account uh, you can have a retirement account as we mentioned in prior videos there are traditional iras uh, roth iras sep iras trust accounts so if you want to open up a trust account through here and then also custodial accounts so these are going to be account or brokerage accounts for a minor you can go up here on the top left you have the invest this is what we're doing here. Then you also have their spend, that they have their own debit card here. You can have an account through there. So it's really neat to see um, how it has the investment side and also the banking side. So borrow, once your balances get above, you can see right here, borrow up to 35% of your portfolio's value when you have over 10,000 invested. So you can actually borrow money from yourself versus taking a loan out there. So. Uh, you do pay a little bit of interest on there, but you're paying yourself back. Um, it's instant access, so it's really cool to see, but don't start borrowing from your money um, unless it is financially feasible to do so. Research, one of the coolest things on here. This is what I love to just kind of just spend time doing. So when you click on research, you can see the market news. It's just tons of news that's going on in the world, which I really like to see and kind of keep up with. Then right here, you can research and look up any stock you can only imagine. One thing that they do not have on here is going to be your penny stocks or anything less than really five dollars uh some companies dip below five dollars that are still big companies like i mentioned ford motor company there for a while um dip below the five dollar mark so it, it technically was a penny stock but um it is not traded like a penny stock um but you can go through all your different ones you can see if you want to look up construction type of accounts if you want to look up finance accounts if you want to look at manufacturing you name it it's just so cool and you can also see the industries um air, aircraft engines so you can see all the big ones here let's go down here let's look up breweries so like beer companies you can see yep anheuser-busch you know boston beer company just so cool how you can see this but total we're going to reset all this they have 4392 total searches on here fund wise they have over 1860 funds so these are going to be those ETS so you have your total stock market your S&P 500 index you name it i mean it's just crazy how the list goes on and on and then also expert pies you can click up here and these are really neat to see you have general top investing, uh, plans for retirement, responsible investing, income earners, hedge, hedge funds, uh, Berkshire Hathaway's in here, um, just stocks and bonds, and other strategies that they have. But let's look at general investing. So this is gonna be based upon your risk tolerance. As you can see, very conservative. The five year of a very conservative is about a 20% rate of return, whereas ultra aggressive is going to be 88 or 84%. Um, 0.8 percent return over a five year so you can see as you take on more risk more reward but of course like we mentioned it is going to be more risk in there and then also you can go down here to hedge fund followers so you can see berkshire hathaway Greenlight capital um, some of the other ones like tiger global management that are in here you can see their rate of returns over five years which is crazy to see some of these 262 percent the market has been on a bull run for so long past performance does not indicate that you're gonna have the same yeah, future outcomes. So always remember that. So, so that is really it. M1 Finance is such a wonderful platform for many to use. So whether you are a beginner, whether you're more experienced, it is so simple to use. Uh, we walk through a step-by-step -step process of how to open an account. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, check it out. Open an account. See if you really like it. Make sure you use my link below. You get free money for doing so. And always remember, save, invest, and plan for the future because it'll be here before you know it. Thanks for stopping by.